What's good, Power with Director Peeps? It is Tablet Tuesday. And today, I'm gonna show you how to get your audio edit and audio mix on with the Power Director Mobile Video Editor app. If you're new to my channel and you wanna learn how to use Power Director, click the subscribe button and click on the bell to get notifications every time I upload content to YouTube. Let's mix up our freaking audio. As you can see, I've got three sets of assets on my timeline. I've got a video clip with audio, and I have two audio clips beneath that. If I tap on any of these clips, I'm gonna be given an option here called audio mixing. Doesn't matter which one of these I tap on, the audio mixing option will be available. If I tap on audio mixing, you can see now that on the left-hand side of the screen, I have volume controls for each track. So I can adjust the volume on each one of these tracks to whatever I'd like. I can also mute a track if I wish to do so. It's all love, it's all love, love. It is all love, love. So let's go ahead and tap on back. Another feature that's been added for your audio editing love is the duplication of audio clips. So as you can see, there's a duplicate option down here. And if you tap on any of these clips and then you tap on duplicate, it'll add a duplicate of that exact same clip on the same timeline track. Now this is good if you need to extend a song or a sound effect and you can just keep duplicating to fill in the space. Now, if it is a song, you may need to do some editing to sync up the end of the song with the beginning of the song. Now, we can go ahead and tap on this and we can go ahead and delete it. Now, another feature that we have here is if we tap on one of these clips, then you have the volume option. So if you tap on volume, you now can mute your clip from here. If you need to fade in a clip, you have the option to fade it in. And if you want to fade out the end of a clip, you have the option to fade it out. So the last feature I wanted to talk about is keyframes. Now, if you're in the audio mixing room, you can change the level of a specific track. But using keyframes, you get precise control over the volume levels of each clip wherever you want to change the volume level. So over here on the right hand side, there's this keyframe button. If I go ahead and tap on that, you'll see that it adds a keyframe right there at the beginning. Now, if I move my playhead to a new position and I move the slider, it will add a new keyframe and you can see that it's changing the volume at that position. If I move my playhead to a new position, I can go ahead and do the same thing. You can just hold on the keyframe and do duplicate previous keyframe and it'll lock in a keyframe at that position. And what that's good for is it will keep the volume at that same position between those two keyframes. And if I move my playhead to a new position and I change the slider again, it now brings the volume back down or I can bring the volume up even higher. So basically I have precise control over the volume using keyframes. Audio editing and audio mixing complete. If you like what you see, I'll leave a link to try out Power Director Mobile in the video description. I know you want more Power Director love, so be sure to click on these videos to watch more of my content and smash my cartoon face to subscribe. Don't forget to drop me a comment and a like down below.